guys, but we are going to be on mission number six called Energy. Before we get into that, I just want to say if you enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a like, comment, and subscribe. Also, this is one of those videos that I post that doesn't get a ton of views. Usually, my gaming stuff doesn't get a ton of views, but that's why I'm probably going to say this in my next uh, video as well. I spent the whole day today putting like 90% of my videos on Spotify. If you are the type of person that likes to throw like podcasts on, on Spotify or anything like that, I now have most of my videos. I didn't put my gaming videos on Spotify because I didn't feel like that would be necessary because gaming stuff is like people usually watch that and you can just go on YouTube to do that. But uh, if you want to listen to my videos on Spotify, like maybe turn your phone off or if you're driving to work or something, whatever, that is an option now. So if you want to uh, go and check that out, it's at the top of my YouTube channel page. And also if you click on any of my YouTube videos that uh, do have a Spotify version, it will be in the description. There's a link to that Spotify version of that video. So anyways, enough of that. We're going to go ahead and get into number six, energy. I'm really excited. I don't know what to expect as always, but it says restore operations to the fuel cell power generator. Let's get into it. I really hope you enjoy. For long space missions, energy derived from liquid fuel is undesirable due to weight considerations. However, abundant oxygen supplies from the garden laboratory, which we did in last episode, may find application as a fuel source. You must locate the inactive power generator and restore it to full capacity. I wonder if that wrench right there is one of these special items that you get. We'll find out. Previous operation has shown mixed results, so proceed with caution. That's a little bit concerning. Oh, we're in the dark. No way we're in the dark. You gotta be kidding me. This is crazy. No way. I'm gonna put the flashlight on my hip because I feel like that's going to be pretty important. And we will do our little paper thing at the beginning and figure out all that we need to do for this. Wow, I didn't expect this, guys. Not at all. Okay, so we need to locate the fuse room first. And then we need to replace the blown fuse. I guess that's all that you do. Um, I think we are currently in, if I had to guess, we're in the bottom left, so we're at the comms terminal, because it looks like there was only one, uh, one way out of here, so it looks like we're in the comms terminal. And the fuse room is all the way up top. We're going to have to find a fuse. And then we'll go ahead and replace it in the fuse room. Then we have to get the generator running again, which means... Okay, that wrench that we saw in the beginning, we'll have to turn a few things. I think we have to brush the exhaust out, because the exhaust is probably full of stuff. And then we have to... Turn the generator discs. There's two exhaust ports, so we have to brush both the exhaust ports out. We need to put a new spark plug in. This is my kind of stuff. I work on engines all the time. <laughs> easy, easy. This is not going to be that bad. Those are my famous last words, as always. So let's go ahead. 
way through here. And I don't like that at all. <laughs> so I'm going to do a quick little turnaround. This is one crazy mission. Okay, we flipped ourselves around. That's frightening. Yeah, I could not be crawling through vents like this. There's no way. Why do I hear a voice? That's very strange. I don't like that. This is a creepy miss mission. feels like we're on our big spaceship, but we're in like the vent area, and maybe there's people living on the spaceship, and we just are like maintenance. And once again, my flashlight has gotten me stuck. <laughs> Why does that look like a plunger? And also... that do? I don't know what that does. <laughs> okay, that might be completely irrelevant to this mission. <laughs> We're making our way around into the vent. saying I'm there's no way I can't be crawling in tight spaces if anybody has watched videos of youtubers going through caves like small little caves where you crawl through them just like this where you have no space never in my entire life no thank you I will pass on that
looks like there is a one-way path getting up to the fuse room and there is no turning around until we get there. It looks like there's also an air. Air is pushing us. I want to know what this is. Flashlight's gonna get stuck. I would I don't want to get stuck in this. A little bit at a time. See if I was going in backwards, my flashlight would definitely get stuck, I think. way. No way it went all the way back over here. Right? Now. Did I actually nail that throw? I think I got it perfectly where I wanted it to go. <gasps> Guys, wow. That was crazy. <laughs> okay. We are back. And I think I have to aim this plunger exactly to this little area here. No. <laughs> it's really hard to do this 
It's like you need to be Squidward and you need multiple hands. <sighs> For anybody who doesn't know who Squidward is, that's SpongeBob. I know I have a couple of people, quite a few people that are not viewing from the United States. But 
path over here. This is a very dark area. I'm going to pull this old spark plug out. Throw that away. we got to put the new plug in and then connect the wire to it. I don't know what this does. That's helpful. So, I'm going to get rid of this flashlight. <laughs> that was in the way of everything. Wait a minute. Guys. Guess what? The new spark plug automatically attached itself to this wire right here. How easy is that? And it also automatically detached itself. supposed to put a wrench on those when they're spinning like that. That's not ideal. Well, that's not great. All I'm going to say is I'm really smart. <sighs> if I didn't bring that plunger with me, we would have had some problems because I think opening up that last... Wait a second. Hold on. I might be completely wrong here. Oh no, the air is still on. Off, the air vents are still on. So I might be right then. So what I'm saying is that that third area that I need to go get the plunger for, I think will shut off the vents or at least redirect the airflow so that I can actually get this wrench that I need. So we're going to get this plunger here. start the mission completely, I think, if I didn't do this. Those noises are horrifying.
a secret item here somewhere, right? Is it the wrench that's the secret item? No, it can't be because... Why would... That's like necessary for this. Oh, that's the secret item. I got it. So if I didn't bring the plunger, I wouldn't have be, uh, been able to get the secret item here. Understood. Is that dog collar? I'm just gonna put that over there. I lost my engine exhaust brush. I don't know where it's at. I think I have to crawl my way through this. stuck. Oh, there's the brush. For some reason, I thought that was the door handle for the, uh, This thing shaking like that. I think it's done. Or is there a little bit more I gotta get? I think it's done. one more to do, and then I have to do something with... I did not mean to shut the power off. Okay. I think tightening the generator discs is going to prevent them from spinning like that. And it won't make the, the generator wobble so much. Put that on my hip there, because we're going to need that in a second. And now,
definitely doing this the hard way. Was that, was that it? I'm confused. Okay, there's a, there's a seventh mission now. Very interesting. So that did not go to plan. It, it definitely went how it was supposed to go, but it didn't go to plan. Uh, Alright, well. That is mission number six energy we did our best and we got the secret item so that's a good thing yeah that means there's going to be a seventh episode because there's a seventh mission that we did not know about i really hope that you enjoyed this video if you did again be sure to give me a like comment and subscribe i hope you have a wonderful morning evening or night and i'll see you in the next episode